So welcome back again to the Star Grid. All the racing fans now gathering over the TV screens and following us on social media and obviously all the other platforms. So this is it. This is the final race of the Baltic Touring Car Championship Round 3 for the Baltic Touring Cars. And of course joined by the TCR cars. Here we have rival Tom in the pole position, obviously setting the fastest time in race 1. But it was an unfortunate event that led him finishing in P3 after the incident on the first two corners, actually in the corner number two, uh, over braking and uh, actually having a spin. He recovered pretty well, let's see what he can do, but don't forget that. We have a few more really powerful cars, including Wilnes Bartrox, who won race one, and, and this, is, this is it. This is his chance to win an overall uh, category, because in Baltic GT, he has to finish at least in the second position, if Ramotam wins, he has to be second. So in the overall points score, uh, he would lead after two races done. There's good to ravage to the beautiful Lamborghini Huracan as well. He showed some really good place behind Vilnius Buttrex on race one. Fantastic job by the Lithuanian crew. Good job, guys. Looking good, smiling. All right, thumbs up from the Lithuanian crew. That's fantastic. And he can the stunning Audi TT RS. I love this car. Personally, one of my favorites. It's unbelievably fast and unbelievably beautiful. Now, speaking about the TCI category, now it was a, it was a huge battle between Cruzmanis and the Lithuanian team. Rox Kvedaras was fastest uh, on the race one. Let's see what the old legend from Latvia can do. Jens Cruzmanis having so much, so much uh, history in racing and circuit racing, and obviously. We have some uh, few more really interesting cars. Energizer Racing uh, starting in uh, position number. Uh, let's see which one is it. So that's uh, position number seven. Exactly. That's Rockus Quadratus. This cruise was in front. Peter Peck. Sorry. Peter Peck was uh, faster. That's my fault. My fault. So Peter Peck was supposed to be in uh, P5. Ahead of Dirk Kruzmans. He's not there yet. I hope we'll uh, see him back. Peter There's Peck's one car, car was standing in the at the. There's between... some action going on. Oh my god, and that is Peter Peck! That is Peter Peck with his Honda here in the pit lanes. And there seems to be some problems for the cars. Technical issues straight away before the start. What a drama even before the start of the race. Here we have the beautiful Gineta. The, the uh, UK-based team Gineta here. It's Drew Holland over to steal me. Drew is happy as usual. A smiling man. Obviously having a lot of uh, racing time throughout the weekend with yesterday and two sprint races today. Yeah, amazing. Amazing weekend so far. You know, like I say, a Duras race yesterday and then today. So, yeah, brilliant. Really enjoying it. So, All right, and There was some fierce battles going on as well in, in, in the first race. What's it going to be here? I hope for more of the same. You know, it looks like we're getting further forward. So, you know, <laughs> we keep trying. That's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Right, Drew, you're doing a great job. See you at the finish line. Hope so. Can't All wait, right. guys. Keep it pushing, keep it pushing. So that's Drew Holland from UK. Fantastic car. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's fast. What else could you need? What else could you need? And here in the beautiful Auto 24 ring, Parnu, Estonia. The track is amazing and uh, the heat's coming down again. Uh, the clouds have disappeared. That means it's uh, quite hot. The surface, I can touch it by hand. It is warm, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a hot race. So we'll see all the action we're going to follow online. And obviously, thanks for joining us uh, once again on the Br Baltic Touring Car Championship Round 3 here in Estonia. Partner Summer Race 2020. I'll be joining Thomas in a minute. So stay tuned. Yeah, that is, uh, we see on the left side of the grid, there is an empty space. And it's a space where Peter Peck's Honda Civic TCR should stand, but it stands, you can see on the far side, on the right side, upper part of your screen, his car is standing near his garage, and if they are, if the mechanics are able to start the car, whatever was the, re for was the reason to stop, if they manage to start the car and uh, Peter Peck manages to drive out uh, onto the track even after all others starting from pit lane of course uh, there will be not a good result it will be perhaps uh, impossible for him to repeat the victory from race one but uh, to be there it's the most important thing if you can't be there you can't take any place Yes, having picture on the background of Lamborghini, and this is Artur Spatrax, one of the winning crew from yesterday's six-hour race. His father 
Vilnis Patrax is sitting in the car currently. It's the same car which uh, they brought together with uh, Thomas Padovani, brought to the victory yesterday. Now Greek girls are leaving the pit lane and it means that at 17.40 according to the schedule in less than two minutes the warm-up lap should start and race two for Baltic GT, PTC4 and TCR cars should start. Yeah, it's really wonderful grid, very colorful, good cars, quality field. Although I would like to see more TCR cars, uh, but it is as it is. And um, considering what uh, action we had in race one, I hope we will have at least the same. Maybe with the exception of uh, first uh, lap uh, collisions we had such uh, between number 88 eight, Ernesto Globita and 911 Castutis Sassionis who was at fault I don't know uh, it was investigated but as uh, both of them retired for there was uh, even if they are penalized uh, in race one they both penalized each other so, we will have, of course, uh, two laps before the rolling start. Uh, safety car already took off. And now, cars are also moving. Warm-up lap, formation lap and rolling start procedure as usual. And let's see what Peter Beck can, and his crew can do. Now the car is standing, bonnet is up and it is never a good sign so perhaps Peter Beck is not going to miss this race oh it's a shame of course on the home track he did a so good job during race one beating uh, Gertz Kruzman is of course Kruzman is uh, and his car they are new to each other but you can't underestimate Gertz Kruzman is never and Peter Beck uh, being a uh, able to beat Kruzman is that were good achievement and for my surprise little surprise Kruzman is of course he was um, managed to overtake number 95 Rokas Kvyadaras but was not able to pull away from him of course Kruzman is lost out a little bit during the start but we will see it was all race one now Kruzman is has the pole position for his class Starting from uh, fifth overall, as there is one empty space in front of him. And race will be over 12 laps, as was the first race. And now, where is Frederick Holmes Renault? I see, saw it going out onto the track, but it seems that it returned to to the pits after only one lap not taking its place on the starting grid or at least it is not com going to complete the first warm-up lap ah, again shame it has happened so but then here we are nothing to do Oscars just arrived uh, from pit lane and he told me that it's becoming hotter and hotter yeah, outside. Yeah, it, it feels like in the Emirates or something. It is truly crazy out there, and I, I can't, I can't imagine the feeling being in the car right now, working hard. I, I, I can, <laughs> I can it's as pleasant. well. It's pleasant feeling. On one hand, I can as well, but I've never done proper circuit racing like this before. It's, it's only, I can tell you, 12 laps, uh, even uh, in in this heat, it's not uh, so long race. So, <laughs> all right, I think the drivers will. It's, it's part of the game of course of course so we see a beautiful sight right now it's the porsche gt3 obviously uh obviously driven by uh, Rabo Tom uh, and you, you see what, of the what pack. a quality of car uh, field here is it's unbelievable it's unbelievable so we have two lamborghinis and uh, as i said before it's uh it's really a really a tough challenge right Ma now for majority, majority of the starting field are 
works built racing cars and top racing cars yes, in the world yes, to yeah, be they're honest they're actually the <laughs> works works built uh, racing cars are all top racing cars yeah so uh a, basically a good lottery ticket for for uh Dirk Kruzman is right now he is in the front of the pack for the TCR cars and it's such a shame as you already said Thomas for Peter Peck what is what is wrong with these cars during it does it has to do something with the hot weather I I, I want to uh, speculate but it's just so many many cars have been uh, the, been pulled off by yeah uh, that is seen in hot weather you can hear uh, the common problem can be uh, gas evaporation so some, of some uh, bubbles forming in the in the uh, fuel system but anyway now the cars are forming the grid Rivotam is in front of them all entering the main straight so here, here we are, we here go. we are, the last race of the weekend, the third round so of the Baltic Touring Car Championship. So let's see what Raivo Tamdi does this time. And the go, 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 go. And, and hopefully this time he learns from his mistakes. Let's see how the braking goes in the first corner. Oh, oh, oh eh, it's still Kutariani a little bit. just trying. Yeah, trying. And he, and he really cuts the corner on the grass, but... Uh, Batrax holds the second position. This time, Kruzman is did an excellent job. Excellent job. So he's uh, he's now currently in the lead of the TCR class, followed by the Drew Holland. Uh, so he has uh, he has the Lithuanian uh, duo in front of him. So that is Edwina Saint Nikas and Oslo Gudrajus as well. Uh, they are trying to catch up with the uh, top two cars, but it looks like they are really really ripping it away. Uh, from the uh, rest of the field. Yeah, Tam and uh, Batrax are going to escape from Gutaravicius, it S seems. So if we look at the at the point standings right now, after the uh, the first uh, race, uh, we, we see that Batrax is in the lead, of course, by winning the first race. Tam was in third, so this means if Tam wins the second race, Batrax has to be at least at second position to secure the top position. Uh, at the end of the weekend, so uh, we'll see what it takes. What it takes to be uh, the top man in be the Baltic GT. Be faster than the others, of course. And in this case, not even be faster than Rival Tan. He has to hold on to it. He has to hold on to the second position the, the at main, least. The main thing is to keep uh, Gideon Kutaravich just behind him. Yeah, yeah, that is the most important thing. So we know Kutaravich is uh, finished in second position. That is good result for him. It's definitely uh, going to give him big chances to uh, finish in top three positions. And we see uh, Nikis is actually going doing a really good job uh, keeping up with the uh, with the uh, Baltic GT cars. He's he's in the Baltic GT AM category. Uh, of course, he won the category in race one, which is effectively something like GT4. While those in front have uh, effectively GT3 GT cars. cars. Of yes. course, yeah. It's approximately we can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> describe them like this and second uh, lap is on the way and uh, Raiva Tam is I think he's not pushing because uh, Vilnius Patrax is uh, keeping uh, his pace Patrax also has absolutely no need to push he what he needs is to keep Kutaravicius behind him and that's exactly what he's doing that Tam is in front of him so close um, not down to him we could now focus a little bit more on the TCR category race now. There's some action going on right there. So, remember in race one, there was a huge, huge incident between an Este Globita and Kistutis Stacioni. So, both of them suffered, did not uh, qualify to uh, finish the race. Uh, an Este Globita, uh, her car was standing in the middle of the, uh, of the uh, racing circuit. And she was uh, really, really upset. So, right now, we see Cruzman is now is in the lead of the TCR category. But who's second? And that is on, the big question. So we see Stacionis. Stacionis, Stacionis is Stacionis second. Stacionis already is second, but he's almost four seconds behind Cruzman. Now it is the battle for the third position in TCR class, and now it is really, really close between Anastek Lobita and Rokas Kvetaris, both Lithuanians. Uh, so it is uh, less than a second between these two. I think it's going to be a really, really close one. I, I, I think, I think Ernesto is definitely desperate to uh, to show her pace and to fight back in race two. At least show the rest of the yeah, world that Ernesta, she can you do see, it. Ernesto has uh, overtaken Jurki Jankari. Just, uh, of course, they are in different classes, and now is closing in to Drew Holland. That is totally true. Oh my God! And, and the situation between Jurki Jankari and Kvedaras. So Jurki Jankari. 
somehow managed to keep the uh, inside of the corner and Quedas wasn't able to pass. So and he's I losing, he's that losing a lot of time right now behind Jirki Jonkari. So Globita has a chance to, to get away from him. Yeah, but he, he, she is, but uh, he, her battle is Drew Holland. I think Ernesta seems to be much uh, faster in turns, but uh, this uh, Ginetta is faster on the straights. On the straights, exactly. Yeah, straight line speed is better with GT4 car. Let's see if Ernesta can do something about it. Of course, she knows this track very well, while Drew Holland is first time here. And he's doing absolutely brilliant job. So, Ernesta is flashing lights. Go faster, go faster. Go faster, don't break so, so much. Push the throttle. Drew, you can do it. <laughs> so we see they're going really close to each other. Oh my God, she almost nearly touched the Drew Holland's bumper. So here we go. She tries to go to the side. Drew Holland, what a gentleman. That's a proper gentleman. Yeah, proper British gentleman. Wow, she, oh, she, she did a perfect job as well, obviously. So now Ernesto Globide now is in the lead or uh, in the front of uh, Drew Holland. So she has a clear track ahead. We can see that uh, Stacionis is also uh, really doing a good job. But Stacionis is some uh, three Cruzman seconds is. in front of Ernesta Globita. Yeah, so. but Dirk Cruzman is, is, is faster than Stacionis, so that means he's getting away uh, almost uh, half a second. Looking at the lap times, I would say that Cruzman is he's now um, somehow uh, uh, used to the car. His lap time is 120.89 and it's uh, what he did in qualification. And so I think Cruzman is now actually in... Uh, in on his way to the first victory in a very long time with such a car in the TCR category because he was second on the first race but then Petr Peck did not start this race which means yeah, there's I zero think, points for him I think uh, yes so yeah. that means then in overall standings for TCR Cruzman would potentially yeah, I, get on the top he, spot of he the must keep, he must keep just going and then stay in front of Stacionis which he was almost five seconds in front so if you sh he should keep it but looking at the first two, it's still interesting that uh, Tam <laughs> uh, and uh, Batrax are together. Tam has not pushed away, pulled away. I think I think Vilnius Batrax at this point is just keeping up the pace. But the pace is very good. Very well, one good One seventeen point six and uh, fastest lap belongs to Batrax. One seventeen point five. Now Tam at seventeen point two. And Batrax, uh, let's see. Even a little bit faster, also 17.2. And we can see in the screen, they're really, really close to each other. Yeah. So, uh, what, what's your guess? What, what your money would be on? Like, well, if you have to uh, put money Tom, on, do you no, think Batrox will Tom try to attack Tom? What's the point? <laughs> racing. <laughs> yes, racing. Winning two, uh, winning two races out of two is, is just the perfect so jackpot. Now he lost out a little bit, entering into turn nine. It's a tricky place, of course, it's very easy. It's very easy to lose uh, sometime there. So let's see, Rockus Quadratus in TCR class is still stuck behind Drew Holland. That is uh, bad luck for him, to be honest, because Ernest de Globide is uh, pulling away. And pay attention, Kirtz Kruzman is, is closing in to Edwin as Yeah, that is definitely true. So they're both driving in different classes. Einikis is doing a really good job in BGT. Both Audis, actually. <laughs> yeah, very, very Audi. <laughs> that is totally <laughs> true. Very what? different. Einik is owning a, 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 an Audi TTRS, fantastic machinery. And obviously, uh, Kruzman is driving for the LV Racing Team in a TCR. Brand new Audi car. Kruzman is has caught him. That's I've a fantastic shown view Tom, right now. Rival Tom, who is in first position, and Willens Patrax now really lost out during this lap. Uh, he's now more than two seconds behind Rival Tom. So let's look at the situation between Ernesto Gulbita and Castutis Station. Is the both Lithuanians now? Uh, they have almost matched even that lap was, uh, times on one the last lap. Low, lap. But uh, let's see There's if still they more than will five complete. seconds between them right now. Let's see if they complete the next lap. It should happen in in few seconds. So we're in the middle of the of the of the race. Obviously, six laps have uh, been covered. It's exactly halfway. Halfway, and uh, and it looks like Vilnius Patrucks is uh, just keeping up with the pace. So Klobita has been a little bit faster than Stacionis in front of her, but uh, not enough faster. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. if uh, the 
gap is still something like uh, five seconds and being uh, three tenths uh, faster it doesn't help much yeah that is definitely true but of course a lot of action here in the uh, balti Turica championship round three in the pernu summer race 2020 what a beautiful look and it's the last race of the weekend and i would say actually thomas unfortunately the last race i would be ready to go for some six more hours uh, with with no problem at all so we see uh now Jutz cruise is now really trying to attack uh, the lead to it and he does it he does it he finds a spot and probably Enikis saw the situation and figured out that there's no point of holding him behind yes of course and because they are from different classes yeah, and uh, yeah, I yeah. would say that Enikis his car is not 100% some something is not uh, not 100% uh, to that car for sure but because normally he should be much much faster but what a performance by Dietz Kruzmus, uh, the legend of circuit racing from Latvia. Fantastically. Uh, ah, now they are racing job. that. <laughs> and here is Janis Hans being overtaken. Yeah, by both of them straight away. And I just met Janis Hans, by the way, downstairs before the start of the race. He was still looking at the timesheets. He was still uh, figuring something out. And then I want to ask what happened. He said, oh my God, I was so fast in my Subaru. It, it went so well. His lap times were really, really good at the free practice. And it was just such a disaster. His Subaru engine did not take the pressure. He Whoa, just... Kruzman is almost uh, made a spin into turn the 11. Car control. So yeah, wow. but, but you see he is pushing. He's really <laughs> pushing now. Having oh, another yeah. Audi behind him and makes, also, him, I, I, makes I, him go faster. Pretty much short Cruzman is now having the, the time of his life. He's having fun out there. Seriously, pushing the car. Just really, really pushing it and trying to figure out the, the limits of the grip. And that is a brave thing to do when you're in the lead of your category. What a man, what a man. But his lead is such a huge. He has actually, even if he makes one slight mistake, uh, it will uh, won't of course change he, anything. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely sure that uh, Kistut Stacionis will not uh, will not wait long. <laughs> so that means he's 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 pretty much. Uh, close. You see where is Stacionis? Where is here in front? We see Cruzman uh, is and, and Stacionis that, is uh, that, right yeah, over there. So. Seven uh, seconds uh, or something, even. And in, in the last lap, Ernesto Globita was quite faster than Stacioni, so she closed in a little bit. So she's, she's almost three and a half seconds now. With uh, four laps to go. Exactly, so. It's possible, but uh, unlikely. And you see, two leaders are together once again. So, Hubilis Patrax has done a lap of 116.6. So and that is he may faster be older. than on the first race. That is definitely faster than he did in race one, which is really, really cool. And Raivo Tam's uh, best time from race one was 116.1. One. So, so he matched Raivo Tam's oh, oh, time, almost. Almost matched, yes. But again, uh, Raivo had uh, really good motivation in uh, race one. Now Vilnis just wants to keep uh, Raivo under pressure, I would say. I wonder what the uh, what the uh, Batrax Jr. is saying, because I saw Artus Batrax on the radio with his father earlier before the start of the race. They were they were chatting, they were talking. I could see Artus really focusing on, on the job. He, he they had a huge celebration after yesterday's win. They they partied all till four or five o'clock in the morning. I know this for sure. But they're ready to do this again. They're ready to race and they're ready to win in any circumstances. So uh, we have uh, less than. Three up, uh, laps to go. Uh, now it's going to be two laps to go. We with the leaders coming in on the last turn of the uh, circuit, uh, already overlapping some of the teams. What, who was the uh, was the uh, Vitalius uh, Potchemenko? Vitalis it's the Volta GT24. Uh, yeah, they're passing him smoothly. I hope Willens Batrax gets the chance to pass him. No, no. He let. Yeah, he, uh, he let. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if uh, Batrax made a mistake in the last turn. But, but then here on the acceleration, on the exit of the turn, of course, Batrax will use the advantage of the Lamborghini Huracan yeah, power. I think uh, Raivatom will still uh, win this. Oh, at least for now, it looks so. Uh, obviously, it's really, really good to see that uh, the guys are battling out there. So, 
Uh, what's uh, what's the rest of the field doing? We have to. <laughs> they <laughs> are traveling to around on. at quite a good speed, I would say. Yeah. yeah Kutaravich is plan. safely in third. No one in close him from front nor from behind. And only, yeah, only one and a half laps to go still. And Batrax now went a little bit wide into turn, wide into turn 12. And with only one lap to go, I would say that it's And uh, Gutaravichus is so far away. I mean, I, I, he already, yeah. I think Gutaravichus already figured he's, he's going to be the top three position for overall. Sure. And he's just taking it easy. He's just chilling, he's just cruising around. And look at there. Globita has caught the Sionis. This is this is what I was saying. This is what I was saying. This is the battle we have to keep an eye on. So it's that a, is for the third car place number in 80, 88 and the car number 911. Between two Lithuanians, Ernesto Globita, Kestutis Stasionis. This is the fa battle for the second position in the DCR category. Now, Globita was, oh my god, it was she was almost two seconds faster on the last lap. Yeah, it means Stasionis made some uh, serious mistakes. So this is it. Here we go. We, we we could just follow that so battle. what about oh, leaders and, and Stasionis is late on breaking and as the Globita is using the situation and she goes past him and she goes past him she takes the second position in the TCR category what a comeback after a disaster what a look at that screen that uh, Vilnis Batrax has also caught Rivo Tam once again during after the final lap of the race after such a disaster race one for Ernst Globita she came back and she came back stronger she's now in the second position if Actually, she would Stasion have few Stasion this is the same guy who he collided with. And let's compare the Grid Cruisman's times with Ernesto Globita. So they're pretty much going in the same speed. So if she would have at least a chance to fight with Grid Cruisers, we would have the time of our lives. But here we go. These are the leaders. Check it like One after out. another. Right, and you can see Willis is actually looking for an opportunity. Yeah. And that is a checkered flag. Yeah, Thomas, no more opportunities Thomas, in this case. Thank you okay. very much. This is it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be meeting so you down see, there in the Parkway. And Ernesto Globita, I can tell you, has. Uh, Pushed away from Castuti Stazioni, so Ernesto Globita, as it looks like, is going to take second place in TCA class, who is Castuti Stazioni's third. And yes, they were two of uh, those colliding during the opening lap in race one. I don't know who wa was at fault. And this is Kirtz Kruzmanis taking TCA class victory in. Race two. Yesterday he won two races in PTC one with Peugeot to await. And now Ernesta Globita is on the main straight. Castuti Station is behind her. And positions two and three belong to them in TCA. Meanwhile, leaders are also already on the cooldown lap. And all the other competitors are also got the checkered flag so the final race of today and the final race of third round of BATCC here at Auto 24 Ring at Pernu is almost completed we still will have prize giving ceremony and of course we will have uh, some uh, interviews from Parc Ferme and uh, we will have prize giving ceremony after that and highlights between those two now Raivadam in front and Vilnis Patrax uh, behind him are entering the pit lane and going to drive the cars to the Parc Ferme and here you can see a top eight to Holland in that fine number 13 Ginetta took eighth place and we have 12 cars at the finish Actually, Janis Hans should be somewhere there. He's not shown because he was, um, but he was, yeah, he was two laps down compared to the leader, but he should get the result from this uh, race and being classified. Anyway, cars are entering now the pit lane and in a few seconds, you can see it on the right side of your screen. And here is Oscars. So ladies and gentlemen, this is it. That is the finish line of the Baltic Tour Car Championship round three in here in Pernu Summer Race 2021. And an exciting event it has been. It's fantastic 
Thank you all, first of all, for following us on social media and all the other platforms and Motorsports TV for such an opportunity to be online. But now, here is the winner of the Baltic GT class. He finished second in the race two, but that means he is the top, top guy here in the Panda Summer Race 2020, winning the Baltic Touring Car Championship Baltic GT class. With Ramotan finishing in first position, but obviously we know that this uh, third position of the first race uh, now puts him in second position. Vilnis Patrox is here with me. So let's uh, talk to the man himself. Vilni, Absweizu, Ir! Wow, that's the big brotsens. That's the big brotsens. Smokes brotsens, but no more smokes. Like Close this. Let's not say that you are your wish big gata. You are like the action rival. But they are clearly playing out the stomach. You will be sacked. You will be sacked. But the show is not clearly out. But the first one is brotsens. The first one is the show. The brotsens is the other one. The other one is the other one. Yeah, the first one is the other one. Perfect. It's the one that is happening. I'm going to say that. She has brought in Swiss parts. Perfect. You will see. So you are taking a ball. You will see. No, we are not balling. But you will see. Balling. Yeah. Let's see. So. So that's Wilms Butter, he said he's just super happy, what else can you add? I mean, she, he's super happy, and he said if there would be one opportunity to pass Rival Tom, at least if he made one mistake, he would definitely use the opportunity. We saw him by the end of the race, he was pushing really, really hard. So, uh, let's have a look. I want to see Dirt Kruzmanis. Dirt Kruzmanis, definitely. Where is Dirt? Just wait for me, guys, I will definitely bring you Dirt Kruzmanis. That is a something. That is something. The guy, the legend of uh, the racing circuit. Here's Drew Holland. He's happy as well. Of course you are, man. Congratulations on the finish. Second position in uh, the GTM. Yeah, a fantastic afternoon. Really enjoyed the last race as well, you know. And finish in front of one TCR, I think. So, yeah, we had a great battle and I loved it. Loved every minute of it. We were waiting for you in Riga then. Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait. Awesome, there, awesome. The Holland family. Fantastic job at them. So, I want to see Dirk Skruzman uh, if he's somewhere around here. Pass out swing. So we'll see him in a bit. The TCR class winner. So obviously after the mistake and the problems uh, were for Peter Pick. Peter Pick won race one, but then couldn't wasn't able to start race two, which gave such an opportunity with Dirk Cruzman. Here's here. He's the man. He's the legend. He's winning the TCR class after so many years. He still has it. He still has it. So how do you feel? Very good. Thank you. Dirt, pēc tik daudziem gadiem. TCR mašīnā, Audi, tik atrā tačkā un tev vēl oprojā pulveris ir savs. Es zinu, nu, jūs visi redzējāt. Nebija jau konkurents, es tur tā, nu, tādā vieglā ritmā, nu, tā kā brauc. Super! Vienos vārtos gribētu teikt. Acim redzam problēmu Bīgā un pilotam Pēta Speks arī ļoti ātris uzvarē. Pirmajā braucienā šīs punktam punktu ziņā, protams, sumā tev dod pirmo vietu, bet es domāju, vīkends rīzdavies, visi ir apmierināti. Vakar dabū izbraukšu, šodien uzvarēju, kolosāli! Jā, paldies, super! Izbaudīju, izbaudīju vīkendu katru dienu pa pilnu programmu. Fantastiski! Paldies, paldies čempionātam! Fantastiski! Paldies tev, Ģirdi, paldies visai komandai! Tiekamies Rīgā pēc div so, Dirt says, fantastic job. He, he took it easy. He took it easy on the race too, because he saw Peter Pig wasn't able to start. So that means he would uh, definitely qualify as the top, top finisher here in the uh, Panda Sum Race 2020. So, it's time for us to uh, slowly round up. We'll definitely meet you all uh, in the uh, award ceremony. That's going to be a, a huge one, as yesterday, if you followed us online. It was a fantastic award ceremony, and today is going to be the same. So, we'll see all the top guys. On the podium there, celebrating all Pappy. And uh, of course, thanks for joining us throughout the weekend in the uh, Baltic Touring Car Championship uh, Round 3 here in Parnaru Summer Race 2020. It's been exciting to be with you. It's been exciting to bring you all the action throughout the weekend. We'll definitely meet you all guys in Riga in two months' time in the middle of October for the grand finale of the season where we will definitely crown some champions. So stay tuned for more action and see you at the podium.